In this tutorial, we'll create a brand new VPC consisting of two subnets. One will be public and the other will be private. Each will have its own route table, which is associated with an internet gateway, and it will decide whether or not it has access to the internet. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll start by creating the VPC and we'll give it a name. The CIDR block will be 10.0.0.0 slash 16. The tenancy will be default. Now that we've created the VPC, let's go ahead and create an internet gateway and give it a name. The internet gateway is detached by default. So let's go ahead and attach it. We select the VPC that we just created, and optionally, we can use the AWS command line to do the same. Now that we've created the Internet Gateway, let's create some subnets. We'll first create our public subnet number one using the VPC that we just created, and we'll put it in Availability Zone US to East 1A. We'll give it a CIDR block of 10.0.1.0 slash 24 because that falls within the VPC CIDR block that we created earlier. Next, we'll create public subnet number two in the same VPC in the other availability zone of US East 1B with a CIDR block of 10.0.2.0 slash 24. Now let's create the private subnets. Subnet one private in the same VPC in US East 1A with a CIDR block of 10.0.3.0 slash 24. Private subnet 2 in the same VPC and availability zone US East 1B with a CIDR block of 10.0.4.0 slash 24. There are our four subnets. Choosing subnet one public, you'll notice that the default route table is connected. Let's give it the name of default and let's not modify that as that is Amazon best practice. But we'll create route tables that we wanna use with our subnets. So we'll create a public route table associated with the VPC we created and do the same for a private route table. Now you can see both of our route tables in addition to the default Amazon provided route table. Let's adjust the public route table. In this case, we are going to establish routes. You can see that the default route is established, but we're going to add a route because this is the public subnet, we need a route to the internet. So we're going to select the internet as the destination. The target will be the internet gateway. Then we can save this route and take a look at the private route table. The default route is associated, and we don't want to add a route to the internet 
because this is the private subnet, so we'll cancel this. Let's associate subnets with our public route table. We want to associate the public subnets with the public route table. So we'll select the top two in this list and save it. You'll notice that two subnets are, two subnets are associated and two subnets are not. Let's do the same for the private route table editing the subnet associations to the private subnets. And you'll notice that the current route table was main, but after we make this association, the route table will be updated accordingly. There are no subnets left to associate with a route table. So once again, we created two subnets, one public, one private. We associated route tables that decide whether or not the internet gateway is used to access the internet. And this was all done in a VPC with a CIDR block of 10.0.0.0 slash 16. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.